It was a promise made by Toronto's police chief back in March after some harsh criticism of how investigators handled some high-profile missing persons cases that ended in tragedy. Well, tonight, I'm going to take you up uh, to the sixth floor here at Toronto Police Headquarters for a behind-the-scenes look at a new unit dedicated to finding people. We're looking down on the service as a whole as opposed to each individual station managing their own uh, investigation. Thousands of historical files, dozens of unidentified remains and new reports coming in each day are now being reviewed by a team of investigators that will streamline information, resources and theories when a person goes missing. If we see some type of a pattern occurring in missing persons that may be, uh, may we may want to look at a little bit more closely. We'll be able to identify those within short order. This unit comes in the wake of the Bruce MacArthur investigations. He's accused of killing eight men who went missing from the village. Police are accused of botching the case with accusations that the suspected serial killer could have been stopped sooner. There is also the high-profile disappearance and murder of Tess Ritchie. Two police officers are facing misconduct charges for allegedly mishandling that case. At police headquarters today, we were taken up to the sixth floor. This is where unit leader Mary Vruna spends her days. This veteran homicide and sex crimes detective is now elbow deep in cold case files. We have gone back to 1990 and we've reviewed uh, over 24,000. We do have some cases that are believed to have been homicides and they, the remains have never been located. She's the first to admit police can do better. One of the things that we have found is, you know, um, although we try to do things very well, we do, we're not perfect. And uh, some cases that are historical have, you know, uh, have gone unattended. The biggest challenge right now is identifying the remains of 73 people who have never been claimed by loved ones. Some of these bodies were found as far back as the 1950s. This is one of the unidentified remains cases, and so what do you have on it? Um, so on July 28, 2017, um, we have uh, an individual uh, that was located at 691 Lansdowne Avenue. Detective Runa is hoping this composite sketch combined with a grainy image of this missing man will help kickstart someone's memory. She says social media has been a game changer. Some of these cases were uh, reported when the amount of technology and social media wasn't available. And so now with all the resources that we have in the internet and how it's expanded, uh, many of them we've been able to clear. Now, four investigators are dedicated to this unit. I'm being told that 4,200 people are reported missing every year in Toronto. And in majority of those cases, those people are found within 24 hours or a couple of days.